Fall in the jungle. As the days grow shorter, nature clothes herself in the glory of changing seasons. The sounds of crunching leaves. And the smell of autumn in the air. Pajamas is gonna be a hit. They're here. Save yourselves. Who's here? Banana Quad. Oh! <laughs> That's a funny name. There is nothing funny about Banana Quads. Why? What are they? A fast-growing yellow fruit that appears once every three years. <laughs> <laughs> You're afraid of a. Fruit? No, afraid of what fruit does to ape. He goes crazy when he eats them. We have to hide! <laughs> <laughs> that should keep Abe out. Okay, this is ridiculous. You guys are seriously overreacting. Trust us, we're not. It started when George, Ape, and I were at the coconut game. <laughs> hey, check out my new smoothie. It's banana quad. Only comes around once every three years. Hmm. I'll take one. <laughs> Give me <laughs> banana quad. <laughs> was horrible. Hmm. Maybe we should get rid of all the banana quads before Ape finds them. Good idea! I'll go distract Ape! Ape! You seem happy. Do you have something to be happy about? I guess I just woke up in a good mood today. A good mood, you say? Hmm, your eyes aren't bulging. Your nose isn't twitching. <laughs> and I don't see any evidence of drooling. Okay, good mood it is. Thank you for confirming that. What are you doing? I'm oh, getting some fresh air. Ah. The fresh air doesn't smell as good as this pastel bubblegum pony spray. <laughs> you can really smell the pony. <laughs> <coughs> can't breathe <coughs> outside. You can't go outside! <laughs> Without pancakes! <laughs> I wonder why Ape likes these so much. We can't return with any trace of banana quads. Ape will spell it. There. That should do it. Ugh. For the next three years. Um, George? <laughs> you shouldn't have. I think I need to walk off these pancakes. Don't go out there! Ah! I, I need your opinion on my faux fur pajamas for the fall season. Did you say fall season? Mm-hmm. Wait, that means if it's the year I think it is, it's banana quad season! <laughs> Banana quads! Banana quads! Banana quads! Banana quads! Do you hear that? Quick! He's coming! Banana quads! Oh! Hey, ape! Uh, there are 
no banana quads this year. Uh, yeah, the crops were all frozen. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
I told you, there are no more! <laughs> Banana quads! Banana quads! Banana quads! Whoa, what's gotten into her? of the jungle. From the prickly porcupine to the latest in luxury helicopters. Huh? <laughs> uh, what is it, Ape? Maybe Magnolia's back to school clothes? Fresh. So, who are those guys? Oh, those guys are Stan and Karina, only the most famous, perfectest, just movie star couple since, since Hank and Brenda broke up. I hope they're not staying for dinner. There's our little Ursula. Ooh. Ah, darling, how wonderful to see. Oh, hold on, let's get an autograph. Mm. <laughs> you know them! Everybody, this is my cousin Karina and her husband Stan. <laughs> this is George Ape and Magnolia. Huh? Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> so tell me, what brings you to our quiet little jungle? Oh, we've been meaning to come, but now we finally have a good reason. Ah, oh, visiting family didn't count? Not so much. No, we came to adopt a helpless jungle creature and give them a nice, normal home. <gasps> what better place to find someone helpless than the jungle? <laughs> So to find this, this helpless jungle person, is there something, some sort of the form we could fill out, or...? <laughs> oh, Montana, oh, that is so funny. Uh, it's Magnolia, but call me Montana, or South Dakota, or Alberta. <laughs> yep, lived down here my whole life. I make my own clothes. Life is hard. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for someone wild, you know, natural. Clumsy works, too. <laughs> what an incredible life story. You poor thing. Raised by illiterate, brutish apes. Checkmate. I can't believe I fell for Kasparov's gambit again. George. What would you say about coming to live with us? You don't have to decide right away. You know, play cool, sure, you know. Do mm. you have more of this ice cream stuff at your house? We want to tell our fans we have adopted a boy from the jungle. And we don't care how he smells. No, oh, super, 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 super. gonna pick George. So unfair. Yeah, but George would never want to live with them. They're so... Obnoxious? Perfect! Well, it's like I always say, if you can't join them, work for them. <sighs> All for George! <laughs> Do you like your new roller shoes? Ringing. What's up with the ringing? Oh, stop the ringing. Uh, George at the jungle's office. One moment. 
moment. George, meet your new assistant, Dakota. You see, in the real world, everybody has an assistant. She'll take care of everything you need, and I'm off to do something fabulous. Bye! Hey, Mom! You look great! Alberta! <laughs> Alberta, you are just too helpful! <laughs> splash and splash! <laughs> splash and splash! is boring. Can George's friends come over? Great idea. Alberta, here's $4,000. Buy George some friends and invite them over if you would. Thank you so much. George, I'm surprised you know how to use that so well. Yeah, I've already mastered turning it on and off. What's in here? Can I go in there? That's George's virtual hang gliding room. Oh, that's, that's George's private basketball court. <gasps> Remote control jetpack. Cool. Mine! <gasps> George never used to care about stuff. What gives? Stan! Karina! You want to go virtual hang gliding? Stan and Karina had to go film a movie. It's just you and me. But we were gonna do stuff! They sent this picture of themselves waving goodbye. Then George wants to play with the helicopter, now! No helicopters, no ice cream, and no video games! I'm in charge now, and I've got me a whole new set of rules! Hmm. My diagnosis is spoiled bratitis. <sighs> we were gonna do stuff. Oh, Stan. Oh, Karina. Why? Why? <laughs> I've never seen him like this. We'll get him to snap out of it. George, we're worried about you. You're addicted to all this stuff. No, I'm addicted to getting my leg all the time. Yeah, that's true. He really is. <laughs> I think it's time to go home. Oh, right. I'll just take remote control to remember standby. And, and mini fridge to remember Karina. Oh, what is that? Over there! Uh. <laughs> Remote control death pack. Admit it? 
George, hang tight. We'll save you. George is finally ready to admit he acted a little goofy before. Before Stan and Karina left, they gave me this picture of them waving goodbye. I wonder what helpless creature they ended up taking with them. Okay, Snookums. If you want to come to the States with us, you just need a few shots. <gasps> no. No! When you live in the jungle, you must always be prepared. Be prepared to get really bored. Ooh, interception. Again. You show up at a party wearing the same dress as the hostess. Do you A, tell her she looks fat in it, B, throw salsa on her, or C, convince everybody else at the party she smells like a badger? Hmm. Those magazine quizzes will rot your brain. I'm bored. Oh, oh, oh! George and Ape are more bored. It's a natural fact that guys get more bored than girls. Girls get bored too. Sure, but girls can braid their hair all day and be happy. Big true. Oh, Magnolia. <laughs> Someone's in trouble, finally! <laughs> Last one there's a hairy monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, can I break your hair? <laughs> Over there! show Extreme Lame Brains where they do the really dangerous stunts. Guilty as charged. I'm Rip Hoot. <laughs> and this is my little bro, Trip Hoot. <laughs> hoot Hoot, girl. <laughs> what kind of stunts do you boys do? Incredibly stupid ones. In case anyone wondered, I found the shallow spot. Extreme! Trip, get a shot of this! We're here in the jungle where this man-eating gorilla has just been attacked by man-eating snakes! That's just a little garden snake. <laughs> Who dares me to swallow this in one gulp? Huh? Huh? Oh, I do! I dare you! <laughs> it's in my pants! <laughs> Get it out! <laughs> Hey, hey, you want to see something extreme? Uh, check this out. Wow. George, why would you do something so lame-brained? Well, they thought it was cool. Oh, plus I, I found a wristwatch. That 
is truly lame brain. Yeah, George does this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah, but he does it for a reason, not just to be cool. Ho oh, ho! We don't do extreme junk because it's cool, even though it is. We do it so we can tell everyone we did it on TV! What is it with boys and bragging? Natural male behavior. George can take on any dare you can dish out. Boys. Just because you girls can't be as extreme as a guy. Hey! I can certainly be an extreme lame brain if then I won't. You boys go do your stupid stunts. See if we care. <laughs> George is gonna show you something so lame brain, I can't even believe I'm gonna watch. What is it? Bobby for piranhas? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, can we try that again? I left the lens cap on my camera. Uh, uh sure. <laughs> 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 These jungle chili peppers are so hot, they burn anything they touch. <laughs> but we dared this jungle man to... <laughs> this film is gonna make us rich. <laughs> Lamos don't give a hoot about George and Ape. I'm afraid they're gonna get the guys hurt. We are dressed up like crocodiles, and they are the Lamos. This dare is something nobody's ever done on video before. Lava surfing! <laughs> the four of us are gonna jump our surfboards down to the first rim, then ride down to the waves of molten rock. <laughs> Uh, isn't this a little too extreme? Yeah, maybe for this one, George will dare you to go. Uh, hoot hoot. Yeah, hoot hoot. Sure, we would make you do something we were too chicken to do ourselves. See you down there. Uh, no. Well, well, what? I'm not jumping into a volcano. Come on, I dare you. I double triple dare you. Last one into Harry Monkey. Whoa! You guys are bigger lame brains than I thought. Hey! You didn't do the dare! Oh, hoot hoot! Uh -huh. Looks like you'll have to lava surf now! George, I'm running out of board! Tookie Tookie has a second language at summer school. Hang on! I want to get really close on their faces! Extremely scared! I'm so scared, I think I wet your pants! Save us! Help us! Hurry! It's gonna erupt! 
Oh no! <laughs> Thanks for the killer video! <laughs> Magnolia, get the parachute out of my backpack. Okay, on three. One. Thanks, Ursula. Thanks, Magnolia. <sighs> Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. Uh-huh. I'm bored. Yep. To survive in the jungle, you must be able to take the intense heat. <laughs> Only a brave few are able to withstand the smoke, <laughs> the fire. <laughs> From the 75 candles on old Grouch Mouse birthday cake. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's a trick candle? <laughs> <laughs> you prank me! Everyone forgets that old Grouch Mouth was the king of the pranksters! <laughs> oh! <laughs> old Grouch Mouth may be old, but I still got it! And I'm gonna prove it! <sighs> George, I need to talk to you. Rather, lots of people need to talk to you. Yeah. He washed the pink right off my feathers. He made me get water up my nose. He made me pull his finger. He made me wet my bed. Well, somebody put my hand in that glass of warm water. Okay, okay, don't worry about a thing. George will just sit old Grouch Mouth down and have a little talk with him. Come on, just sit down. George, what? Talk to you. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, can't catch me! <laughs> hey! He still got it. What do you mean? Well, I couldn't stop old Grouch Mouth. Now everyone thinks George has lost his touch. <laughs> hey! <laughs> See? I don't get respect anymore. Look, he's been at this a lot longer than you. You're just gonna have to fight him using your head. I already tried that. I got a headache. Old Grouch Mouth is at it again, eh? In the old days, he pulled pranks on everyone. 
And he would have kept it up, too, if it hadn't been for one human. The mighty Burbank! He was the only one able to put a stop to Grouch Mount's practical joke rampage. Hoopty hoo! And no one could conquer Burbank except his beloved Mighty Mary. Quit goofing around! Hey, Ape! George has thought of a way that he could use his, uh, what do you call this again? My head. Yeah, 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 Ape's head! There he is! Uh, Mr. Mighty? <laughs> George hoped you might stop old Grouch Mouse from pulling pranks on everyone. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, can you give me a boost? Hoopty hoo! Uh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, returning after being away for twenty uh, hundred years. The mighty Burbank! <laughs> and the cat, who's been causing you all so much trouble, let's have a big boo for old Grouch Mouse! <laughs> Grouch Mouth, Burbank. got in over his head. <laughs> you know what's over his head? His underwear! <laughs> <laughs> so, you want in on the fun, eh? Uh -oh. <laughs> we still got it! <laughs> <laughs> Busy kid. George wants you out of the jungle. Nobody wants you guys around here anymore. Got it? Oh, George, maybe you shouldn't be quite that hard on them. I mean. <gasps> you crotchety, skin sagging meanie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, why did George ever use his. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Don't worry, I've got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did Ursula take us here? 
You remember how there was only one person who could tame old Grouchmouth? Yeah. Stupid, mighty Burbank. <laughs> well, there's one person who can tame the mighty Burbank, and here she is. Meet Mighty Mary. All right, where is he? <laughs> Quit goofing around. Sorry for missing aqua aerobics, sweetums. Well, you should be. Now, come on. We got shuffleboard in 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh, uh, Burbank almost forgot. Old Grouch Mouth is gonna come stay with us? Uh, well, you better get him dry clean first. Ah, uh, come here, you big furball. Hey, you furball, I want the aisle seat. Now Jungle will be normal again. George can finally relax. <laughs> <laughs> we still got it! <laughs> this is a story of a lifelong friendship. Of a bond stronger than any other in nature. It is the story of a boy and his, uh, dog? <laughs> George, we have to talk about Shep. He is out of control. He needs discipline. No, Abe should be more careful. Right, buddy? Good doggy. George, in case you haven't noticed, he's an elephant. <laughs> Shep, an elephant. It's no fun being around him anymore. <laughs> You hurt Shep's feelings. He doesn't tell Ape to stop being smart or Ursula to stop being Ursula E. Well, maybe we were a little hard on him. And second thought. Dr. Toots, I thought I recognized your handiwork. Why, Dr. Towel Scott, it's been a long time. Everyone, Dr. Toots is a behavioral scientist known as the Elephant Whisperer. Did you hear that, George? Dr. Toots trains elephants. Oh, <laughs> George already trained Shep. <laughs> This elephant is unruly, disobedient, and in desperate need of a bubble bath. Obviously, this is a cry for help. I shall train him. Hip hip! Hooray! Today we embark upon my patented elephant obedience training course, using only my whistle and a cookie. <laughs> I will mold him into a well-mannered pet, culminating in a formal dinner with visiting dignitaries, where Shep will demonstrate his knowledge of fine food and... Yeah! Cookies! <laughs> <laughs> now, Shep, one toot means stop on a dime. This time, to be specific! Ooh! Shiny! George gave you 50 cents for it. George, please listen carefully, as you will be the one blowing the whistle when the training is complete. Look at me. <laughs> I've got a cookie. No! Oh, yes, I'll also be using a large pane of shatterproof glass to reinforce the lasso. <laughs>
Ladies, gentlemen, others. <clears throat> Not long ago, a very special pachyderm set out to better himself and maybe even have a little fun. Right, Master Shep? <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to present George with his official Dr. Toots whistle. Ooh, neat! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Goal achieved! Well, I'm off. <laughs> that woman saves a ton on plane fare. Too slow! Too fast! George can get used to that. Mm, Shep is like a different animal. Wait till Ape sees this. The best part is how much Shep loves it. Right, buddy? <sighs> Tree. Ape, did you take George's obedience whistle? No, George. Why don't you look outside? Morning, Shep. George would whistle for you to fetch your whistle, but George doesn't have your whistle. Whistle! Whistle! <laughs> yes, sir. One bowl of trunk a munch coming up. Mm, good. You can taste all three kinds of liver. <laughs> yes, sir. One jungle wedgie coming up. Okay, George, enough goofing around. Ow! Yes, sir. George, I think I know what's going on here. Shep has your whistle and is training you. <gasps> oh. to untrain them. No! This is day one of disobedience school. Using a cookie and no whistles of any kind, we shall return you both into the ill-mannered, rough-housing, wild things we know you are. Ah! <laughs> 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 and 
And so, it is with great pomp and circumstance that I, a bestow upon you, George and Shep, these diplomas, proclaiming each of you disobedient in the extreme. <laughs> Thank the tiki gods that's over. Well, Shep, old pal, can we just get back to being a boy and his big gray? <laughs> ah, good. We're back. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> A defenseless, innocent baby alone in the jungle is an easy target for the most dangerous of predators. Unless that baby is Baby George of the Jungle! <laughs> Yeesh! In my day, folks used to respect their predators. that out of all the pebbles in the jungle, he found you. <laughs> What's that? Pebble needs an app? <laughs> e it looks like your tongue is glued to the top of your mouth. This is why you shouldn't mix peanut butter with spider webs. Okay, hold still. I'm just gonna give a gentle tug. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, sorry, Tookie. George. Thwack. Hey, guys. Neat tie, Tookie. Thwack. George, stop doing that. You mean this? Thwack. Yes, that. Woo, little sensitive, hey, Tookie? <laughs> I can't get a break. Looks like things are gonna change around here for this mouse. few things you can maybe use as a substitute until you find your rock. Uh, we got you, golf ball. The end of an old banana, a smushed up piece of tin foil, and Ralph the Slug who volunteered. Take your pick. Oh, okay. I choose tin foil. <laughs> George misses Thwok. Hey, it fits! George! Someone's in danger! George can't help! George is useless without Pebble! It's a man-eating plan, not true-eating! Everything fine, George going home now! I don't think that plan cares about that right now! Quick! Use that new golf ball belly button pal or friend or whatever! <laughs> George told you he couldn't do it without Pebble. Just throw it already. 
Pebble. Hmm. Round. Oh, uh, and gray. Yeah. Uh. Oh, did George say round? Is this your missing stone? That's him. <laughs> What's with the tiptoeing, George? Well, George just being extra careful. You know, you don't want to get into any danger without Pebble. You were acting like a big nutty banana. <laughs> George still same George. <coughs> get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! <laughs> Hello, Pebble, come back. Where'd you go, Pebble? Oh, Pebble, come back! Pebble! Pebble, where are you? Did you see Pebble? <laughs> Down here, George. <gasps> I found a comfier navel, George. Goodbye. <laughs> Forever. You're mine. 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 Ow! 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 George has to find Pebble. George, I really am sorry you lost your stone. So, I want to give you something very special to me. This is my lucky gut kerchief. I've had it since I was just a small ape and, uh... Thanks. George does feel a bit better. George, I changed my mind. I need it back right now. Uh, but it said right now. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll help you find that stone. Pebble, Pebble, George brought your favorite treat. <gasps> Is this it, George? <laughs> Pebble, not that fat. Yeah! Run for your lives! <gasps> What's wrong? It's horrible. Horrible? Evil. Evil? Scary. Scary? Yeah! George, we have to go investigate this. Uh, busy. Picking leaves, you know. Busy, busy, busy. George, the jungle needs you. Yeah. Okay, but ape, go first. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now, funny boy? <laughs> Pebble! Give back Pebble! His name is Rocky, and he's mine! Oh, Rocky! Oh, okay, that's not even clever! Hey, if you want a piece of fight cake, I'm your baker man! But I'm warning you, Rocky and I are a pretty tough team! No! George, are you gonna let that mouse just take Pebble? Well, kind of. <sighs> Poor Pebble, wedged into that tiny navel. No satisfying. Walk, 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 walk. George wants Pebble. Ooh, I'm scared. Ha! <laughs> ah, too scared to come out here? Not me, because I have Rocky! Help! George will save you! Save Mouse! Save 
Save Pebble! Help! Save Mouse! Save Pebble! George? <sighs> Is it valuable lesson time? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, yes. I think you see now that you don't need to rely on anything other than yourself for confidence. Yeah. I'm proud of you, George. Nighty night, nose blowing buddy. <laughs> George, <laughs> give me back my gut kerchief.